Yeah, what up? It's Billy Niz with the Square Off TV. How's everybody doing? Hope your Friday is popping, your Saturday is non stopping. Canelo Alvarez is fighting Charlo. Finally, what the fuck? Finally, we got some boxes. Dude, Canelo Alvarez got the biggest balls in the whole sport of boxing. He'll fucking fight anybody. He moved up to light heavyweight, knocked out Kovalev. He, this dude is, he's fucking first ballot Hall of Fame. Come on. Like, stop fucking playing, man. Canelo is running shit. He's like, dude, he's the boss. He took over when Floyd left, fact. I think I think he's going to knock out Charlo. Watch. Charlo couldn't even beat motherfucking, uh, what's his name, Harrison. Dude from Detroit. Took his title. Run, uh, fuck. Is it, well, yeah, the dude from Detroit, he's from Detroit, Harrison. We, but then he came back, they had the second fight, and Charlo knocked him the fuck out. Um, we got Colby Covington versus Jorge Masvidal. I feel Colby's gonna win. With his wrestling and his gas tank. I love Game Bread. I love him. He's the fucking man. But. See like. Oh man. I love these fights. But I hate them at the same time. It's like. The fighters you love to watch. And they're your favorite fighters. They end up fighting. And it's like damn. Like. Who. Who am I going to pick? But I, I just feel, in my opinion, I feel Colby Covington is going to win. Uh, he's going to beat BMF, you know. Uh, I ain't going to be mad at it. And if uh, Game Bread wins, I'm, I'll be happy as fuck too. Um, I, the BMF title should be on the line for this fight. I'm sorry. I'm re it should. It's only right. Two former best friends hate each other. Hey, fucking hate each other. They were best friends sleeping on each other. Kobe was sleeping on his couch. Fucking, he lived with him. Now they're headlining a motherfucking blood feud. UFC 271. Alexander Gustafson is coming back to heavyweight to fight Ben Rothwell. That's an interesting fight. I think Gus is going to take it. Fact. Ben what I mean, I remember I've Let me say this, right? I've seen every pay-per-view since UFC won. As the kids say, no fucking cap. I already told you guys this. In Southie, we had the black boxes not paying for fucking pay-per-view. Fuck that. My father's boy made the fucking black boxes. You got HBO fucking every pay-per-view. You had motherfucking porn. Spice Channel, remember that channel? Not non-stop fucking 24 hours a day. Crazy. I was 14. My arms, my fucking forearms were like Popeyes, if you know what I mean. Fucking punching the clown around at a, as a 14, 15 year old. Couldn't wait for my parents to leave. And I'm the oldest of five children, so there was always someone fucking home, dog. I was like, damn, man. I can't even jerk off in this motherfucker. It's no <laughs> I'm just playing. Man, I uh I'm getting back onto this. I'm get I'm getting back into this. Um 
I'm trying to figure out what I want to uh, dive into. Um, like, everybody talks about the same shit, you know what I mean? That's why I, I fucking switch it up so much. Like, I I talk about hip-hop, I talk about the gangster shit, motherfucking Whitey Bulger, the, you know, the mob shit, uh, boxing, UFC, like, those are my interests in doing this, the YouTube. Um, I've been, I've been fucking slacking so bad because I've been depressed, you know, I'm going through a lot of shit. So, uh, you know, I'm not gonna tell everything, but it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm squaring off every day for me to wake up and like to be motivated is hard right now for me. Cause I got something very serious going on. I got a trial coming up next week. And uh, I'm just, you know, I ain't going to lie. I'm scared. I'm nervous as fuck. Uh, there's a lot on the line. Uh, that's that's pretty much it, you know. I, it's, uh, it's just a fucked up situation. Um, I just don't get, uh, I feel like I don't know people anymore. I swear to God, I'm not, a, I, I don't talk about the, uh, the jab, but I just noticed people, the people who have taken that jab, they've, they've changed. I don't know what the fuck it is. I mean, it's like, they just got, people have gotten meaner. I, I just don't get it. You know what I mean? And I haven't gotten it. And I'm not fucking getting it. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Simple as that. I'm not fucking getting it. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm not getting it. I don't give a fuck if I can't go into McDonald's and shit. Fuck that. I'm a fat fuck anyways. I want to lose weight. Who gives a shit? I ain't getting a shot that's going to make turn my blood into fucking jello and I'm going to have a heart attack. Ain't happening, Biden. Fuck you. Anyways. Um, man, I just, I really want to go in on somebody, but it's like, is it worth it? Like, I just, there's a certain YouTube uh, dude, he talks about UFC conspiracy shit. I just, I don't like the motherfucker. He stole my content like seven to eight times. And I've only been doing this five months. He even sent me a motherfucking message saying, because I, uh, I was subscribed to him and I really liked it, you know? And like, he was like, oh, I would never big league anybody. He's just, he's just cocky. He loves to pat himself on the fucking shoulder or on the back, like, it's like, dude, like, you're a fucking clown, I can tell, like, it's just, people are fucking so fake on this motherfucking YouTube shit, it's disgusting, I love Showbiz the Adult for boxing, he's the number one boxing, uh, YouTube analyst, I love his, uh, content, I, he's got a, I love, I love his spirit, he seems like a genuine nice person. I just fuck with him. I love him, you know? Funny. He's mad funny. Um But this dude, man, like you f like he fucking stole like content from me 7 to 8 times. I think it was like 8 times like and he even like he said that the night before that he, there's nothing going on in the UFC. I have nothing to talk about. Literally. He fucking says that shit. I'm banging out video. I banged out five or six videos. 
on the Korean zombie fighting Volkanovsky. I I found out fucking uh I found out that Triple C might be might might have been going in. But Dana White like Dana White was like, yeah, fuck you. Like you every like people who are into the business of the UFC and know what the fuck's going on. Triple C fucked himself. He was the dude, he was the man. He had two fucking belts. He got gre- he he got greedy, you know what I mean? But I understand. Cause like this this bum ass boxes that make more money than UFC fighters, and that's fucking crazy to me. I don't get that one bit. UFC fighters should be getting paid the same as boxes. Simple as that. The sport is way more dangerous. Way more dangerous. And the work these guys put in, the fighters, is strenuous. Fucking what you gotta wake waking up at five, running fucking five, ten miles, riding a bike. You go to the fucking gym, doing you you're practicing eight, nine hours a day. All day. Wrestling. BJJ. Motherfucking boxing. Muay Thai. Sambo. Like it's like they're weight lifting, muscle training, like, these guys, they work so fucking hard, they deserve it, and to tell you the truth, I fucking love Sean Strickland, dude, Sean Strickland's the fucking man, bro, he's a funny motherfucker on social media, Sean Strickland is fucking funny, man, Dude, he's got a fucking screw loose, and I love it. Dude, when he was doing the fucking um the tour of, of his apartment, I I was pissing myself. Oh, he's so funny, bro. He's so funny. He's just a white guy that loves guns and loves to fight. All he does is fucking spa. He knocked this motherfucker out in the ring. He wasn't even in it. The he wasn't even up to his skill level either. Like he did, Sean Strickland. I love you, bro, but you did that dude dirty. You did him dirty, son. Word up. You kicked him dead in his motherfucking grill piece and knocked him out. Dude hopped in the ring like, dude, what the fuck? Like, get get the fuck out the ring. Mind your fucking business, bitch. Oh, man. It feels good to be doing this again. <laughs> My numbers is fucking... <laughs> dog shit. I was doing 10,000 views a month. Every 28 days, over 10,000 views. I got over 31,000 views in like four, four and a half, five months. Not bad. I mean, I can be doing better, but it ain't bad. People been doing this for fucking two, three years. Don't have half of that. And the dude told me to my face. He was like, holy shit. How, how, how'd you do that? I'm like, I just act myself and talk about, and I know my shit. I don't fucking ball suck nobody. Like, um, what's his name? Mr. Fucking Big Shot over on the other channel. And I'm not hating on him. I really ain't. But I I was on his live, right? You know, he stole like seven or eight things off of me when he had nothing to talk about. It's like, dude, then he's talking about like my scenario and he's like Robert, like talking shit. It's like, shut, you're a fucking bitch for that. You're a fucking clown. J-O-F. Dude, fuck you. I go on his live. I ask him one question twice. He fucking blocked me from his live. That fucking bitch. Can you believe that? He blocked me. And all I asked him, I said, what's your opinion? Um, 
of the winner of uh, Masvidal and Covington. Do you think the winner will fight Connor next? I uh, and he fucking seen it. He knows who I am. Fact, he knows who I am. And <laughs> he fucking blocked me, that pussy. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this dude's a fucking bitch. I swear to God, like, you fucking, you spend your days stalking fucking fighters. Get off Michael Bisbing's balls, please. Stop trying to suck Dana White's dick. You're not going to work for the UFC, bro. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. You love the salty swag. I can tell. Dana White's from my, right here, bro. Right here. Jimmy Gifford, right here. Salty, motherfucker. Not Silicon Valley, or wherever the fuck you're from, bitch. Fucking clown. I'm so sick of you, bro. You run your foot like... You're a fucking, you're a snake, man. You're a punk, straight up. If I see, if I ever see you, I'm slapping you in the fucking face. And that's a fact. And I'll probably never see you, but if I do, I'm slapping you in the fucking face. Or we're having a conversation. And that's a fact. You can't duck me on the street. We'll bump into each other at a UFC event. And I'm going to fucking slap you. Get off these dudes' ball sacks. Fucking complimenting their haircuts. Fucking, dude, shut the fuck up, bitch. I like your other channel better. At least you show some fucking compassion. On the other one, you're an arrogant piece of shit. And you're a fucking liar. Anyways, I'm not spending my whole time talking about that pussy. But I I know what you did. I know what you did, you bitch. Anyways, um, I'm not hanging off UFC fighters balls. I've met, I've met so many fucking famous people and ain't even funny. And ain't even funny. But I think Colby Covington's gonna win versus game uh versus uh game bread. Um Gustafson is gonna beat Ben Rothwell. That's a fact. Um I, I've seen I remember Ben I watched his very first fight. I forget who it who who it was against though. He had a Ben Rothwell's career has been up, down, like uh Fucking, uh, his promo skills fucking suck. He sucks on the mic. He got no fucking rap, dog. He he can't, he, he can't, he's got no fucking, he can't spit. You know what I mean? After I, if I just knocked someone out and I really wanted to get that money and that belt, I'm, I'm spitting some fire. Fact. I'm going to have Joe Rogan fucking smiling from ear to ear. I wish they would let two YouTubers box each other like they're doing over in England. I like that shit. Because I would knock this motherfucker the fuck out. Acting like you don't fucking... I don't have a YouTube fucking studio like you. I'm sorry. How can someone make a video without considering the lighting? Shut the fuck up. You fucking clown. You're a circus to me. The way you ride these dudes' dicks, it's like... <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. He's a little suspect, if you know what I mean. A little sugar in the tank. Hold on a second. Dudes are fucking crazy. They get on the fucking... They get on YouTube, think they're fucking hard. You practice... um. BJJ, big fucking deal. Who gives a fuck? I'll stomp your fucking head into the concrete. How about that, you fucking clown?
I predicted that. I predicted that. I predicted that. I was the first one. I was the first one. I was the first one to suck a cock in the U.S. To shut the fuck up. What a fucking geek. Anyways. Um... I'm going to do a, um, a video on some, a group of, a group of guys who Whitey Bulger went to war with, um, because there was two gangs in South Boston. There were two factions. There was the Mullins gang. No one talks about Pat Nee. So much, um, you know, McGonagall, fucking, uh, I forget the other dude's name. Uh, my uncles, my grandfather, my best friend's father. Like, my grandfather was giving guys a ride from, they had a club, uh, a little bar called the Mullins Club around the corner from my house. And um, my grandfather's driving uh, guys at a shit face home. Fucking Whitey's perched up on the top park with an automatic weapon shooting at my grandfather's car. And that's a fact. <laughs> my grandfather. <laughs> Unbelievable. And I remember I was three years old. I was up M Street Park where Goodwill Hunting was where they were watching the... Um, the the kids little league game that's a softball field for the firefighters. My mother and grandfather uh watching my uncle Bobby play and uh Whitey and Weeks you know and them are up there. I'm like three four years old and um the older kids are going down on their stomach on the slide with, with their skateboards. So I was like fuck that I'm doing this shit too. So I said hey mama and papa look at me. I go down, I get the wind knocked out of me. A man um, starts helping me, he picks me up. When I'm, uh, feel, I was crying, you know. He, he was like, being like, you're a tough kid, ba ba ba. Fucking um, gave me money, had me on his lap, to, uh, playing with me, this and that. It was Whitey Bulger, bitch. J O F, top that. Top that shit. Ride and see me the bull's nuts. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Top that shit. Everybody's calling my mother in the morning. Billy's Billy's Whitey's uh new right hand man, huh? And my mother's like, no. <laughs> Funny. Gave me money and everything. And I spent that shit. It was like twenty bucks or some shit. I got I got some wrestlers. I love wrestling. Well, I I I I'll, I'll always love wrestling. I I used to go to the old Boston Garden with my dad. We sat at Gorilla because my my father worked works still works at Fenway Park. He's worked there since he was um sixteen years old. He worked he worked the bar right next to the Green Monster. Third baseline. Up. Fuck, like my whole life. He, he, he was there. He was like, I remember where I was. He, my father loves Elvis. Elvis Presley. He's an Elvis guy. He was like, I remember I was, uh, I was, um, selling Cokes, um, walking up and down the stairs at Fenway. And then they, I seen it on the big screen that Elvis died. His his heart was broken. My dad's idol, you know. And I love I love Elvis too, like, cause I went I went to school in Revere, Massachusetts, and for kindergarten, and uh, I had a I had a I had the wrestling tape, Pile Driver, with Hulk Hogan on the front. It had the wrestlers theme songs, walking down the ring. It had all them songs, so. Me and my father made a um we made a deal. He said 
Elvis on the way to school, wrestling on the way back, or do you want to listen to wrestling on the way to school, or Elvis on the way back? I'd be like, uh, I'll, I'll listen to it on the way um, back. Those were the days. No worries, no nothing. My hockey career. I played with some great people. Um, the hockey players I played with went to Boston University. Went to Maine. UNH. These are Division I schools. They've won bean pots. If you don't know what the Bean Pot Tournament is, it's a Boston tournament between Northeastern University, Harvard. You have Harvard, Boston University, and Boston College, BC. I was always a BC kid. I wanted to play for BC, but I was getting watched by Northeastern. I fucks with Northeastern. I played at a lot of rinks. The Miracle on Ice, where the United States beat the Russians. I played on that ice. I played on the old Boston Garden ice as a kid. I played at Northeastern. All my high school um, games were at Northeastern. Matthews Arena. I played on the Providence uh, Friars uh, ice. Um, Brown University. Beautiful rink, beautiful arena. Huh, me and uh, my boy Lep. Lep is short for uh, leprechauns. One of my uh, good friends. Um, we snuck into the uh, brown locker room, and we stole um, hockey sticks and hockey bags. <laughs> Cause uh, we we went up and down the East Coast playing teams. We we stopped at Rhode Island. Kicked ass there. I scored four goals in one game. We we played at the Providence Civic Center versus the Providence Junior Bruins. Smoked them. Four fucking goals. Dude, we smashed them. Played another game uh, in Rhode Island. Some bum-ass team scored a hat trick. I had seven, go seven goals in two games. Then we stop in Connecticut. Whip ass in motherfucking New Haven. Whip ass and motherfucking, uh, wherever, I don't know, but fucking, dude, who gives a fuck about Connecticut? But, uh, we stopped in, um, New Jersey, kick ass in New Jersey, we kicked ass in New York, uh, Vermont, we kicked motherfucking ass, then we went to, uh, the Junior Olympics in, uh, Lake Plass in New York, we, uh, stayed at the Olympic Village, um, my cousin, they have a federal prison right next to there. My cousin was doing seven years there. Oh, shit, wifey. Hi, baby. Hi. I'm, I'm doing a uh, thing right now. Um, yeah, my hockey career was fucking popping. Bobby Orr came to my house to visit me because I got stabbed six times in my high school. Um, shit happens, you know what I mean? And that, uh, that kind of derailed my hockey career. I was supposed to go to college and shit, but it just didn't happen, you know? But, uh, you, you learn lessons in life, you know what I mean? I'm Billy Niz, this is a Square Off TV, I'm off this bitch, I'm doing another video in like a half hour, peace.